Hi and welcome back to another video in understanding layers in Photoshop Elements. This video we're going to be slightly different here, we're just going to um, talk about how to create basic animation in Photoshop Elements using the layers. Now what we'll do is we'll do a couple of examples, the first one just being a straightforward text. So we'll just go through a series of numbers here. We can change this this colour just to give it a bit more a bit more of a feel and just add a um a bevel to it. Not for any other reason than just making it look a little bit more pleasing on the eye. Alright, well the way the animations works in um Photoshop Elements it's it's based on layers. So in order for us to uh, say we wanted to go up to the number four we could either right click on this one or just drag it down to the duplicate layer so if we just do this three times so as we've got our four numbers at the minute we've got four layers and a background so if we were to do the animation based on this you would have a blank space and then you would go into your sequence and then a blank space again so obviously we don't want that so we'll get rid of um, the background layer showing up as transparent now which you can either keep um, when you save it later on so you can add it onto to backgrounds on web pages etc but to get the animation going well first first of all we'll uh, we'll do the correct thing we'll rename these so we won't type the num we'll just put the characters in for, for quickness now we've got these these are all identical if we select on the second double click on the text we could actually write in two double click on the the third layer type in three you can see this looks really um, messed up at the minute and difficult to see what's on there you could actually turn the visibilities off if you wanted to but we know where we're up to so type in four so we've got our four layers with four different numbers written down if we turn off the visibilities you can see this so we're happy with all our layers and now to turn this into a basic animation what we need to do is we need to go into file save for web and then we have this other box that comes up we need to make sure we have it as a GIF and you can either keep the transparency or not it's entirely up to you and then you need to select this animation so you select the animation and now you have this animated we can see we've got four frames we're on a loop you could just run the four out if you wanted to but we'll for this purpose keep it as uh, on a loop and this is the frame delay so in order to really see it we'll go up to two uh, this is preference you can change this to whatever you want but we'll set two just so that we can see a, a nice uh, speed now you could save this straight away and then post this onto a website somewhere we'll just preview this for the time being and there you can see we've got our basic animation with a, a two second delay for each frame Right, in our second example, what I'd like to do is I'd like to. It's sometimes on websites you'll see, um, like GoDaddy do it quite a lot. Postgator um, where they'll have a a nice banner, a nice graphic with um, just just say some text changing. It may be an offer that they're uh, that they're putting on. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just create a. It won't be a, nothing special. This we'll just do a. So we've filled it there. What we'll need to do now is we'll just make this into a layer and then we can apply a, a f we'll just select all, we can apply a little bevel there to the image. No other reason than just giving it a nice little effect. Deselect this now and then what we'll use uh, just to this isn't uh, a particularly great graphic but we'll just draw out Like I say, these aren't uh, particularly we 
doing this for dem demonstration purposes only quite sure you'd come up with a slightly better look than, than this what we'll do is we'll merge these three layers together so that creates one image now what we'll do is we'll just add some text and just do it in a, a white colour just to obviously a little bit big with this text here but we'll just reduce the size so right there you go you can see we've got our first page this basic um, image graphic with a sale so now what we want is this text area to change to 50% and then another one off so what we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer twice so just pull this down to the create new layer so there you go we've got our three layers of this and we also need to do the same with the text so now we've got three text so you've got three identical images the arrow the background in this case and then you've got at the minute three identical text so we'll bring that one down above there that one above there what we'll do now is on this one we'll change this text so double click and just type our 50 percent we can't see it because we've got these top if we hide this one and then hide that and that you can see it's showing through so we'll bring this one back in and that one double click on the top one Let commit but this wouldn't work if you just saved this now because you'd have this layer showing and then a text layer then this again so what we need to do is we need to go through these two layers here merge this top this middle text with the second graphic merge and again the same with the top one so now we've got three layers with three different graphics on with the outside image being the same on all but just the text changing so if we hide the visibilities start off with sale 50% 50% off do the same as we did last time save for web we want the gif and then we want to be able to, we want to select the animate we've got three frames we can loop and again we'll go down to two seconds and now you can see how you've got a, an image which basically stays the same but with a different offer now what you could have done you could have changed you could have left this as text and you could have had an arrow flashing just by doing the same process as we did before so I hope this makes sense on how to create basic animations it doesn't have to be text it could be image related you could have had this arrow flashing working on the same basis the one thing you have to remember is that each layer that you have each finished layer is what's going to show when it's rotating so if you've got text over above images you need to merge the layers if you've got more than you know if you've got a few different graphics you need to merge them into the one layer so that when you've got the three four five six whatever amount of layers you want on the rotating ads make sure each layer is finished and looking how you want it to look. Okay, thanks for watching.